think about this past year and for me, it, it really deepens my love for this city. I think there's really a strong sense of community. It's a, a big enough city that we have everything one could ask for, while at the same time being small enough that you can really leave a mark. You can make this, this city, this community yours in a way that I think is hard in many other places. The research that is happening right here in our city is phenomenal. Spectrum Health obviously leading um, with a lot of growth on Medical Mile, but we've also seen growth, uh, you know, with Mercy and with Mary Freebed and with Cherry Health. Um, our educational, you know, you have GRCC and Grand Valley State University also contributing to education. And then within our manufacturing uh, sector, the, the building and the development with Grand River Aseptic Manufacturing um, over on the west side, you know, they are a homegrown Grand Rapids company that has grown exponentially since they opened to where they needed a new building, a beautiful new building. And now we're so proud that they're the manufacturing company that's currently manufacturing the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. Not only are we incredibly strong on research and development, we have our medical mile and all the educational and research opportunities that come with that, but also a very diversified life science industry and everything from medical device manufacturing to pharmaceuticals to some of the critical elements of the supply chain we've gained more of an appreciation from through COVID. I would say what makes the culture of our city so great is our collaborative spirit. It is unique. I talk to mayors all over this country, and I assure you, there is not this level of genuine collaboration anywhere in this country. Right now, as we speak, we have one of the largest vaccine clinics in the state of Michigan at our DeVos Center, and it's a collaboration between Spectrum Health, Mercy Health, Cherry Health, and our Kent County Health Department. And here you have over 500 healthcare workers from different hospitals, from our health department, all coming together to work together to manage this massive vaccine clinic to make sure that people in our community can get vaccinated. They'll be able to vaccinate up to 30,000 people a day. A day, 2,000 people an hour. I mean, it's, it's, that is collaboration. We have an opportunity to be on the cutting edge and getting on that cutting edge means we will continue to lead the conversation, we'll continue to be a pioneer. Um, so continuing support on that front, but, and this is something in, in DC I'm very passionate about, is continuing to promote research and development more broadly, uh, both basic and applied, because America is a leader in that space and West Michigan has been a leader as well. And the more that we can have the two working hand in hand, the stronger off we'll be. As we think about the continued growth of the life science uh, sector in our city, uh, from the city's perspective, I do think it's important that we continue to be strong partners in this space. Even bigger than that, I would say, is making sure that we uh, recognize the value of life sciences and that we too are collaborators in this space. Our seat around the table to make sure that we're supporting not just those who are here, but also the growth and expansion of our life science sector. I think that's important for us to do as well. You can, you can move across multiple firms in the same sector in West Michigan, while at the same time having a strong sense of community, a strong sense of place, and frankly, saving a lot of money. And I think there are opportunities to, to grow, to lead, to not be in the backseat, but to really kind of take the wheel in West Michigan. Uh, and I think that's rare. There's already been wonderful things coming out of Grand Rapids and West Michigan. I'm really honored to see that they will continue to be at the cutting edge of development and moving the life sciences industry forward. People don't fully appreciate how many companies we have in our city, manufacturing companies, who are developing products that are helping save people's lives. So that that's really exciting to me when I hear people um, talk about Graham, you know, producing the J and J vaccine, and when I when I hear people talk about the MSU Research Center and, and some of the work coming out of there and the Anandel Institute and the you know breakthroughs they're making with Parkinson's or other types of cancers, we're going to be a city that is uh, that really is not just changing people's lives but saving people's lives.